Uh, 6'4", 295. Is that what you wanted to weigh? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you want to weigh? Uh, I wanted to weigh 300 pounds, so oh, okay. it's kind of five pounds short of that. How are you enjoying the entire experience of the, uh, the combine today? When I first got here, uh, one kid, he said the best way that I could have imagined possible to describe it. He said, it's an experience you never want to experience again. It's a great experience you never want to experience again. And like, it took me time to realize that like, it's a once in a lifetime experience, you know, so we we'll never get to do this again. But the process, you know, of entering the NFL, it's a, it's a long, enduring one, you know, but it is what you have to go through to get to the NFL. And um, I'm grateful for this experience, but it is one of those ones that's like very, very dreadful right. and tedious. So you're a graduate of Willow Ridge High School, correct? Yes. So can you kind of describe to us your journey from high school prospects, TCU to now? and kind of the, uh, the different things and the lessons that you learned along that path to get to this point in your career? Okay, well, uh, went, like I said, I went to Willow Ridge High School. Uh, we're in the suburbs of Houston, like South Houston. And, you know, I really didn't have any competition there. I was always bigger than everybody else. Um, so I used my size against me. I was able to, um, like, overpower you know, like other kids and uh, use my athletic ability to get me where I am today. So I've used that to get to me in TCU. You know, uh, I love my time at TCU. I'm, I'm forever grateful for what TCU did for me. Uh, I had the opportunity to come in and start as a true freshman. That was kind of hard, you know, being thrown from high school into the fire, it's collegiate level. Um, but I caught on quickly and I, I progressed from there, you know, and um, had my few speed bumps throughout my journey at TCU. But in the end, I finished that role and it got me to where I am today. How would you characterize your season this past season? This past season? Um, as far as the whole, the team wise, I feel it's a very, very shaky one. I mean, we finished six and six, uh, very, very inconsistent as a team. Uh, Due to a lot, you know, of uh, lack of senior leadership on the team. But I felt, me personally, I felt I had a great season. You know, uh, it wasn't perfect, but no one's perfect. But I tried my best to perfect every single mistake I made and, and get better at it every day. So when your teammates are struggling around you, what kind of motivates you to be the best that you can be and not get discouraged by, say, the scoreboard or a lack of effort on someone else's part? Um, we, had, we had a really, really young team, and they were very, very immature as far as, you know, what it took to win. You know, so I tried to lead by example, like doing what I had to do, and that didn't work as far as them. You know, I, I yell at them, and they would shove it off. They wouldn't pay attention because they didn't, they didn't buy in yet. They didn't buy in to well, it took the win yet, you know, but that's something that they are growing in and getting more and more mature. But that's just, been, that's what happens to have a young, young team. So what are your skill sets um, for the next level that you think that you have that nobody else has that kind of put you above the pack? Well, I think one thing that I have that a lot of don't have is this foot speed. I'm, I'm very, very fast playing tackle or interior. You know, uh, I come from a track background. My whole family is fast. Um, so I use my quickness to, to help me get the edge on certain things that other people have the edge on me. You know, if, if you're a lot stronger than me, I use my, my quickness to get leverage on you. You know, uh, that's one thing I have and I've been using it ever since I was a little kid and it's worked so far. How many positions did you play in the offensive line in TCU? I played four positions. All but center? All but center. How are you going to put on that uh, 300 pounds? What are you going to do, a lot of protein um, shakes? Well, the thing about it is I was 300 pounds before I got here, oh, okay. um, but like you said, this process is very, very hard. So trying to maintain eating is kind of hard because you know you want you don't want to miss up on a meeting right. or informal interviews because uh, you want to eat. So I kind of made that mistake not preparing, bringing like protein bars or you know, snacks to keep me hydrated because you know flying gets you dehydrated, also like that. But you know those are just excuses. Um, for me personally, it's just my weight fluctuates and I just need to do a better job of keeping my weight. Uh, the interview process is going really, really well with teams. You know, they're um, they're, they're making that that transition very, very easy, or very, very how you say beneficial for me. You know, they they come, they approach you, they want to get a little bit know a little bit more about you, and you know they want to just introduce you into their offense or their schemes and kind of help you like transition easier if they are a draftee. So I, I, I like it. Uh, I'm from Houston, so I was by default a Texans fan. But you know, it's always a little special love for the Cowboys because you know they're from Texas. You know, so you always root for the Texans team. Um, I don't know what it is about Texas. Well, we just love everything in Texas. Uh, but yeah, I was a, a Texans fan by default. That's one thing that I will say is what very, very beneficial about me is that I'm very, very versatile. Um, I can play both right and left tackle. It happened throughout the season. You know, our left tackle got hurt, suffered an injury in the game, and it was easy for me to go play next side. You know, uh, in the West Virginia game, our guard got hurt. You know, our backup guard wasn't that good at the time, so he said I can go play guard. Be the guard had no problem playing it. Um, I just think me being able to play anywhere on the field 
you know, will definitely give me an edge on my people. I've been working on snapping. Um, I long snapped in high school, so that's not a problem for me. So I just have to get that, you know, readjust to snapping, how you say.